hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine open world tutorial series so today we are going to start working on uh, a behavior tree based ai controller for this civilian class so yeah this is what happens at the moment so in this behavior tree uh, this character selects a random location around himself and then go to that location and wait for five seconds and continue that behavior so this is the very simple basic ai behavior that we are going to implement so here is the demonstration right now as you can see this character is not the player character the other character is running somewhere and you can see this move to now he's waiting and now he's moving and waiting and again moving so yeah this is what I'm going to show you how to do today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so so far this character just blindly moves forward without any intelligence so yeah like this so let's give them some intelligence mm, here is the character blueprint So let's create an AI for this civilian character. Let me create a new folder. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first let's create, go to AI and behavior tree. So I'll call this one BT civilian. right now we need yeah we have a backboard blackboard for this as well now actually uh, no I don't have a blackboard created for this one but when I open this BT civilian you can see I can assign this BB human blackboard human which I created let me select it yeah which I created for the NPC character the soldier type NPC character which means uh, previously I created another AI system for these humans for this NPC enemy character so there I define this blackboard for human so even though this is a civilian these are the variables we will need so therefore i'll keep using this this blackboard for the civilian as well so if you don't have one all you have to do is go to your folder right click artificial intelligence and create a blackboard like this and then open this blue uh, behavior tree and assign that blackboard here but I won't do that because since I already have one in my project okay now let's go here and let's add a sequence uh, I'm not going to do anything complex I only I'm only going to make this character move randomly around his location so that's all I'm going to do so therefore I'll add a sequence here and in this sequence I'll add the task we have this move to task and we need to set 
the move target with the blackboard key so in the blackboard we have this move target vector if you don't have one you know, all you have to do is go to new key and create a vector so assign that blackboard key as the move target and then we need to set the move target so let's go here and add the service so I have already created this move target set move target service so I can reuse that let me open it and show you where what I have done there so there what I have done is this when I receive activation AI I get the control pawn and from the control pawn I get next location and then through this BPI NPC interface and then set the backboard key with that value so if you are not sure sure about these interfaces so these services we have created you can refer to this video tutorial number 218 so there I have created this um, this uh, set more target service but if you are still not clear maybe yeah I just create it from scratch here so that would be easier for everyone so let's go here no, uh, yeah here we can create a new service I'll use this PT service blueprint base as the template or the parent class so it will be created like this in here so I'll use S which stands for service set set target location otherwise you will be confused with the move target and there we can create at the event I what's the event name receive activation AI yeah this is the event we have to use okay so now we have the service so here instead of this uh, this one let me delete this I'll add a service again set target location okay now here we need to set this move target using this set target location service so how can I do that well to set a set a variable in the blackboard so I am going to set this move target variable so in this set target location I'll add a new variable like this I'll call it BB key it stands for blackboard key selector all right now let me compile now here in the behavior tree when I select the set target location is still not visible all right I have to make this public okay and compile again now when I select this you can see that this BB key variable here so then I can assign what is uh, whatever the variable I have defined here to that variable so select the set target location and assign move target if you haven't done it so okay 
and yeah and now I have to set uh, the I have to set the value of this key defined by the BB key so set black board value as a vector because uh, I, I want to set up a location so therefore it, I need to set it as a vector so what's the vector value so all I need is a uh, is some random location around the character so get random sorry get at location and then get random um, reachable point in radius so this will give some point that is reachable from this point within this radius so for the radius I'll add 2000 and I set it as the backboard value okay now here yeah after that let's wait for a random time so let's say five seconds and random deviation I let no I don't need a deviation for now right so this is our behavior tree now just because we added this behavior tree this character wouldn't have it so we have to do some other setups as well so here I'll create an AI controller I'll use this uh, this one D2 crowd AI controller as the base I call this AI CV oh it's out of saving CV yeah. And then in the begin play we have to run behavior tree so I'll select the civilian behavior tree okay now I'll assign this AI civilian in to the civilian character blueprint here select the character main node and under pawn you see AI controller class so here assign AI civilian but still we are not done because yeah, let me disable this random moment thing for now it was only temporary now if I play the game well, uh, I need to remove this part as well. This add moment import part. Now, if I play the game, as you can see, nothing is happening. So, shall we go to the behavior tree? And yeah, you can see this behavior tree is executed on the AI civilian. And but still nothing is happening so why is that that's because there are no navigation data around this character if you remember my NPC classes so when I have an NPC class with the navigation invokers enabled let me show you here is an enemy if I place them here and if I press P you can see this green indicates the navigation data around them so they have that because inside these classes I have added this uh, navigation invoker component 
so for the civilian as well we need to add that navigation and walk so let's go here and add navigation and walk yeah these settings would be good enough right still i'm not seeing the navigation data all right i added the component into the ai civilian not there i have to add it to the ch civilian okay now i should see yeah now there are navigation data okay shall we play the game okay now the character is randomly moving see and if i go to the behavior tree also you can see that in action 